Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here. In this video I'm going to continue my look at the transport equation, which is a basic PDE used in modelling. And we're going to learn how to solve some of these basic examples. Now in other videos uh, I've shown you some of the theory behind the solution to the transport equation, but the nature of this particular video is pretty simple. Now the transport equation is the following. Okay, this is a homogeneous form. C is a constant, and the subscripts mean partial, uh, partial differentiation. Okay, and in a previous video, we looked at the, uh, the, the transport equation and we came up with the following general solution. Okay, here f is an arbitrary but differentiable function and if you you know use the chain rule differentiate this and plug it into um, your PDE you'll see that the PDE does does hold okay so essentially um, we're going to identify C in each of these problems and uh, just write down the general solution now uh, part C you'll notice some extra information here this is like is an initial an initial condition and the if you couple the, the PDE with an initial condition, sometimes it's called a Cauchy problem. Okay, so let's um, just go through and solve each of these re really simple um, problems. So here C would be 2. And so I can write down the general solution right away. Okay. Uh, in the next one you'll see this actually isn't the same as this but we can just divide by the two essentially and um, rearrange it so c equals negative a half in this context and the general solution is going to be f of x minus ct so in this case it'll be the following now strictly speaking you don't really need to move that 2 down um, you can easily check that another solution is just this Okay, where g again is an arbitrary uh, but differentiable function. Okay, so if you don't want to switch it around, you can go with this. Now, lastly, c. Let's solve the PDE and formulate its uh, general solution, and then we're going to refine the solution using the initial condition. Okay, so um, in our PDE, c is five. And so the general solution is the following. Okay, so now we've got a, a general solution. Let's incorporate the initial conditions uh, and then we'll refine our F. So we, we hopefully we'll come up with a particular F. So for our, our IC, so by IC I mean initial condition. Okay, so when t equals zero, u, the solution, is just the exponential function. So let's go to our general form, plug in t equals zero, and see what we get. Well, that'll disappear, and we'll get f of x. So if you compare these two things, our, fun our arbitrary function f, in this case, will be narrowed down to an exponential function. Now again, this is pretty simple. Sometimes you've got you know, a function of x inside your f and it's not quite so, so easy to work this out. Okay, let's go back, change our p argument with x minus 5t and we've got our a solution to the Cauchy problem. Okay, so it'll be e to this argument here. And we're done. 
okay so uh, again it's, it's always good to check your answers just using the chain rule here this should be a solution to a this should be a solution to b or this if you want and this should be a solution to my Cauchy problem Okay, so there's some basic examples. In other videos, I'll do more involved examples. For example, when um, the right-hand side is um, not necessarily zero and when the coefficients are not necessarily constants. I hope you can join me for those presentations.